Hi, my name is Anthony. Can you dig it, dig it? Uh, I competed in the 2012 Olympics uh, for Sweden and I am currently the EBU European Lat Waterweight Champion. Today I'm going to show you five combinations on the bag and then five uh, a little bit more advanced combinations on the bag that works uh, for you as a southpaw. All right. So the first combination we want to do is just uh, one, two, and then the hook and then the straight. You keep him open straight, uh, the straight left towards the face. So if I show you one more time, this is how it's gonna look. The first three punches is just to keep her busy. The last one is the hard one. So you accelerate all the time. One, two, three, four. That's the hard one, okay? So if I show you how it's gonna be done, this is how it's done. So you stand in and then one, two, three, four. The second combination, especially as a softball, is that you want to target the body a lot because your left hand is on the side of his liver. So you want to target that a lot. So even as a softball, when you throw a combination, try to get that in. So one good combination of this is a, still a one-two. The one-two is key because it will keep him busy and will not see what's going on underneath. So if you throw a one-two, and then, for example, if you want to switch and, and, and throw the uppercut to the body, then what you would like to do is to throw the hook first to get that momentum to come with the uppercut, okay? So if I show you one more time. So one, two to keep busy. Find the momentum and you get the uppercut there, straight into the liver. And that's what's gonna hurt the opponent. So if I show you the whole combination, this is how it's gonna look. Same thing there, accelerating all the time. The first are easy, it's just the last punch is what you're looking for. All right. The next combination is also quite simple. You want to start uh, in, on the head and then go down to the body because when you do something towards the head, he's going to bring your hands up and that leaves his uh, body quite open. Okay? So what we want to do is that we want to, once again, we want to throw a one, two, to keep busy up in the head and then look at where I'm standing. His body is quite open for me now, so I throw straight to the body. One, okay? And then you can slip, slip, roll, go out. Okay, one more time. So, one, two, and you find that one to the body, okay? Let me show you one more time. This is how it's gonna look. And the same thing there. The last punch is the hard one. The first, so you accelerate all the time. One more time. Another combination you would like to throw is uh, still go down to the body, but after the body you want to finish up on the head. So if you throw a straight right, uh, if you throw the jab to the face, then you go down to the body with a long left uh, straight. But what you're looking for is that hook to the face. So once you go down, you come back up. Don't bring your head up though, and you hit him to the head. Yeah? So you go down, you go up, down, up. You will keep him confused. I'll show you one more time. Up, down, up. Alright? The last punch is the hard punch because that's what you're looking for. Okay? Let me show you one more time. So this is how it looks. Another combination you can throw is from close distance. Alright? So We've been uh, trying a lot on, on, on the far distance, now we're going to do one close distance. What happens on close distances, you're in close, you need to keep your hands up, and usually he's also quite closed in, so you need to open him up. So what you can do is that you throw those, you throw those four combinations easy to the body, four uppercuts, just easy, one, two, three, four, and finish with the hook to the head. Because once you do this to the body, he's gonna bring his hands down. And then you finish up with the head. Let me show you. So this is how it's gonna look. So you are here, you're here, and then one, two, three, four, punch. Alright? These are just fast to the body. Because he will focus on the body. He will he will concentrate on the body that he needs to keep his elbows in. And that's when you punch him to the head. So if I show you one more time, one, two, three, four, punch. That's the hard one. That's what you're looking for. There's no, no use in throwing these punches hard because you're just going to hit the elbows anyways. So, let me show you last time. Alright, that's five pretty easy combinations to remember uh, that you can think about that you can do. So, 
We have five a bit more advanced combinations. These combinations are more advanced because you do them while you're moving. Okay? And it's quite it's, it, these combinations are good for south paws in particular. Okay. So one of the combinations are that you want to move slightly to your right while you're throwing your uh, jab jab straight. Okay? It's exactly the same thing as throwing your jab jab straight moving forward, but you just move slightly to the side, to the right side instead because you want to get, aw get away from uh, his uh, right, right hand. So instead of going straight in, you want to go slightly to the side and it leaves all that room for your left hand to connect. Okay, let me show you one more time. Punch, punch, punch. That's the hard one. The first two jabs are only to get you to position. You see, one more time. Jab, jab. Gets me in position. I am in position now, and he's still facing this way, slowly rotating towards me. That's when you throw it in. Let me show you one more time fast. One, one. That's it. Another combination that you can throw while rolling is the uppercuts, okay, while rolling. So let's say that you are in close with your opponent, yeah, and you roll, it's one thing to roll, it's, it's not hurting anyone, you, you are uh, deflecting punches, but you're not really doing anything. So what you want to do is that you want to throw punches with it. So what you do is you roll, punch, punch. You see, I'm rolling at the same time. So the first one, you just roll because when you throw the one and two, you come back to this side and then you go back up with a hook. Okay? One more time. So you do the roll. One roll. One, two, three. Alright? It's quite a Mike Tyson shots, hard shots. All three punches are hard in this one. Okay? Because you bring the momentum of it in. Alright? One more time. Last one. Let me show you. So you start. You roll. And then one, two, three. Alright? Another one you can do is also quite uh, advanced because after a couple of uh, after a combination, you go to the side and you throw another combination. It's good for south paws because you move to the right, you go away from his punches. So this is good for you because you do a one two, one two, and then look at what I'm doing. I'm moving my foot to the side, one and hook. Okay, one more time, one two just to keep him busy. One two, slip to the side. I'm coming over to the other side, I'm in position, I throw the left hand and the right hook. These two punches are hard, okay? So if I do it fast for you, this is how it looks. One, two, three. The next combination we need to know, uh, we need to do is that after we throw a combination towards the face, is that we need to go down to the body, but then we need to know how to go to the side without getting hit, without getting hit with uppercuts and uh, things like this. So for example, if we are going with a combination, one, one, two, three, and he starts punching, so when he starts punching, what you need to do is to slip at the same time, you want to throw that punch straight into his, his face, kind of like uh, interrupting him in his punching. So when you go in, one, one, two, punch, punch, you see? Because he starts punching you there, so you need to keep your hands up. You can even take a little break there. One, one, two, punch. Maybe he's punching, he's punching, and then you come back with a punch, okay? Let me show you one last time. He's ready for you, he knows that you're gonna come attack him, so you do it. One, one, punch, 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 punch. So you block and block, and in the rotation of the blocking, you throw your combination. If you want, you can throw more, but I would advise you to throw one and go out of the side and then start over because your opponent is quite reckless throwing combinations. Another combination you can throw is the double right hand, uh, sorry, the double left hand and then following up from there. It's quite good for, or, uh, for south paws because you're moving away from uh, his right hand and his left hand because you slightly dip towards your right. Okay, so look for example, if you throw a one, two, I have slightly dipped to the side, so I know he can't punch me, my hands are up as well. So you double it, okay? One more time, look at me. One, two, three. 
yeah? And then if you want to, you can follow it up from here, you can throw to the body, you can throw to the head, everything is quite open for you here. If you want to, you can double it up with a one, two again. So if I show you, the, the one I would recommend you to do is to, to throw a one, two, two, hit to the body, go out to the side. Let me show you one more time. One, two, two, get to the body, go out to the side. Let me show you one last time. So you're jabbing, maybe jabbing a couple of times. So this is in fighting. And then you're going one, two, three, body. And you go to the side. And he is quite open for you there. And you can throw your combinations, whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to work the bag, how to do a couple of combinations, uh, and then some a little bit more advanced combinations. Um, thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you would like to follow me on social media, please do so on Digit Yigit uh, on Instagram, or Anthony Can You Dig It Yigit on my Facebook page. Also, check out my webpage, uh, digityigit.com. Thank you so much for watching.